Yes, that's right. Today I'm going to share with you the best tips, tricks and hidden secrets for your PlayStation VR 2. And let me tell you, this is the most complete list you can find on YouTube to date, as it includes everything you need to know. And with that being said, let's jump right into the metaphor, shall we? And check them out. Let's go! Okay, so the first tip is, is that you can actually use Discord on your PSVR 2 while playing games to talk to your friends who have a headset themselves or not at all. All you gotta do is head over to your PS5 settings, select users and accounts, link services and choose Discord. It will then give you a QR code that you can scan with your phone and from there it's very simple. During a Discord call on a mobile device or PC, you can now transfer it to your PlayStation and it will automatically switch to your PSVR 2 headset. Discord will then show up in the menu and allows you to adjust the general volume and you can mute yourself and others while you're at it. Tip number two is about being able to go hands-free. Instead of taking off the controllers when someone's at the door, calling you or when you want to quickly grab a drink, then an easier and more effective method is letting the ring slide through your hands and letting them rest on your arms. Tip number three will keep you and your surroundings safe. While playing, it's easy to get so immersed that you completely forget about your furniture, TV and family members despite having virtual boundaries in place. What I would suggest here is using a small floor mat that keeps you centered. This can be anything from a bath mat to something way fancier like a proxy mat, which has been made specifically for intense VR sessions by the way. So yeah, as long as you make sure you use something that can't slip away, you're set. Tip number four is useful for when you want to try games before you buy them. On the PlayStation Store there is a special but well hidden section where you can download free demos for titles like Resident Evil and Horizon VR. Always keep an eye on this page as it gets new experiences to try on a monthly base. So instead of having to select the quick settings by going through the menu in mid-game, tip 5 lets you just hit the PlayStation button twice and this will instantly bring you to it. Thank me later. Tip number 6 lets you control your PSVR 2 with your voice. Yes, if you want to stay immersed and not having to jump through multiple hoops to get somewhere in VR, then you can decide to use PS5's voice recognition. And by saying hey PlayStation, you can ask it to launch a game or while in cinematic mode, it can fast forward or even pause a movie for you. You can enable it in the settings under voice command, which is still in beta. Tip number 7 depends on where your console is located. Let's say your PlayStation has, well, the high ground, then it's smart to place it on a flat surface instead. The wire tends to pull the console away from its base, especially when it's standing up horizontally. So you have been warned. Tip number 8 is made for the lazy gamers out there. If you want to create a quick play space, you don't necessarily have to use your sense controllers because a DualSense gamepad does the trick as well. Just turn on your headset and select a seated, standing or room scale and then based on your preference it will make a play space. Of course to play an actual VR game you do need the sense controller so this is only for the setup process. Tip number 9 can reduce motion sickness. Some games on PSVR 2 are quite intense and yes of course checking on comfort options in the game settings and playing these titles in short bursts is the most important thing you can do. But something that's effective too is using a ventilator. Yeah, because having air blow across your face can be a tool to help with motion sickness as it makes games feel more realistic leveling up the immersion. So give it a try and let me know how it goes. Tip number 10. If your pants or skirt uses belt loops, you can pull the cable through one of these so the wire stays out of the way while playing. This is a quick hack that works well for when you want to make sure your high score isn't being ruined by anything. Tip number 11. If you experience tracking issues, then uh, besides making sure the software of the sense controllers are up to date, you can also turn on a setting called tracking support. This creates a frame around your TV screen to make it easier for your headset to recognize. And the only downside of this is that people around you who are watching you play have to deal with a smaller screen, but it does help with, well, the accuracy. Tip number 12 is about keeping your lenses clean and most importantly in good condition. Don't try to do this with your top or even worse paper towels because this can seriously cause scratches and in the long run will ruin your visuals. So rather use a lens wipe that people get with their sunglasses to keep them sharp and clean. And on top of that it's important to keep them out of direct sunlight as well. So there you go. 
Tip number 13. Audio is very important while playing VR games. You can decide to use the earbuds that come with the PSVR 2, but if you want to be truly immersed, I would use headphones. As long as you can adjust the cups, you should be good to go, and it may be smart to buy a smaller cable, a shorter one, so you don't have to tuck it into the back. And make sure it's canted so you reduce the chances of hitting it with your controllers. Or you can go wireless. Personally, I use the 3D over ears that are comfy and have a 12 hour battery life, but you can also choose a handful of other wireless headphones that are supported by PlayStation. Oh, and since the PSVR 2 has no physical volume buttons, you have to use the digital slider in the menu or the ones on your headphones. Now, talking about battery life, tip number 14 will give a boost to your Sense controllers. If you want them to last longer than just 5 hours, you can decide to sacrifice the intensity of the haptics by going to accessories in the menu, select the controller you want to modify and from there turn it down a notch. Interestingly enough, this is also the place where you can change the bindings of the Sense controllers and much more. Enjoy! Tip number 15 ties in perfectly with the previous tip as PlayStation allows you to let your headset and controllers go into sleep mode. As this is not turned on by default, it's easy to lose a few minutes of juice when having to do stuff in real life. So you can turn this on by going to system and in the power saving department all the way down, choose when you want the headset and or controllers to turn off. On to tip number 16. PSVR 2's cinematic mode is great for watching movies and playing flat video games while lying down on the couch. But something you may not know is that you can boost the frame rate of your headset to 120 hertz and experience uh, things in HDR. All you gotta do is head over to cinematic mode, what a surprise, and over there you can flip some switches. Tip number 17 lets you extend your cable. If you want, you can make the wire longer by using a 1 meter extension cable from the brand Ugreen. Do keep in mind that everything above 1 meters will cause tracking issues. So yeah, 1 meter is the best you can go for. Tip number 18 will help you reduce the Mura. Now, if you never heard of Mura before, then don't worry, okay? But if you do know what I'm talking about, then something that can help is turning down the brightness. It's a very simple but effective hack that can improve things for sure. So. Give it a try. Tip number 19. If you are running out of storage, you can upgrade your PS5 with an additional SSD. You can do this yourself and there is even a tutorial on the PlayStation website that explains you how to do this exactly. Good luck! Tip number 20. Let's say you have a console with a disk drive, then you can of course buy physical game copies. But did you know that some of the older titles that originally launched on the first PSVR offer a free upgrade to the second generation because, well, you can find a list on Reddit that gives you a complete rundown on what's free. You can find a link in the video description. Tip number 21 is all about PC VR support because a recent video by Tyrael Wood pointed out that the headset does indeed work in combination with a computer. Right now it's only possible to use it as a 3 dot monitor, but fingers crossed that in the near future we'll be able to play actual games like Half-Life Alyx and Lone Echo 2. Oh, I can't wait, but let's move on to the last tip and that is tip number 22. If uh, FPS games are your jam, then I would recommend you looking into a gun stock of course. ProTube and Virtual Rifle systems are the best candidates for when you want to level up your VR experience experience, so keep an eye out on their website and also social media on what they are working on. And there you go my friends, for more tips and tricks, hidden secrets and all kinds of other stuff, make sure to watch my full review and next to that all the links are in the video description. Until next time and bye bye for now, oh yes.